book. And today I'm going to tell you the slight differences you'd see in rural Croatia as compared to urban Croatia. So somebody from a selo or village, also known as a seljak, which by the way can be used as an offensive term implying that this person is uncivilized and or uneducated. But rural people in Croatia tend to be even more close-knit with their families and hold traditional family values and tend to be a bit more conservative as well, so they would go to churches, let's say, a bit more often than the urban folk. Now, the urban folk in Croatia still hold traditional family values and are more tight-knit, but because of the work life in a city, people are focusing on their careers, their education, and they tend to find less time to spend with their family. People from villages as well also tend to be a lot stronger as they're moving around a lot and working in the fields. Living in the villages also has the added benefit of having fresh produce right at your doorstep, as compared to urban areas where you would have to buy your produce either frozen in a supermarket or something. So those are just a few things that I find slightly different between rural and urban Croatia. Okay, that's all for today. Have you been to the rural areas of Croatia? Let us know in the comments below. Hvala svima i vidimo se.